Hi, Paul Sykes, Good News Broadcast, speaking to Carl Mildy Jr. Hi, Carl, how are you? Uh, just great, Paul. Thank you for asking me to conduct the interview. Well, Carl is a good friend of Good News Broadcast. In fact, Carl's the one that helped uh, with the patenting and trademark, I guess it is, of the Good News Happy Face uh, with the government. Carl is a practicing attorney specializing in intellectual property. He's also on the board of Good News, and he, he does good things. And he's an author, and he has a new book that's out to go along with other books. You know, I was looking at you had these children's books. Tell us about those first. Okay. Um, I've always wanted to write and as I was getting up in years I you know maybe I was 60 years old and I said you know let me let me write a a thriller for kids and um, so I wrote the first book it's called um, Jason and the Detectives it's kind of modeled after a German book that I read as a child called A Meal and the Detectives uh, which was published in Germany in the 30s and was became very very popular about a young boy who takes a train to berlin uh to see his grandmother and his mother pins some money in his pocket uh to deliver to the grandmother and on the way uh he falls asleep he wakes up suddenly and he realizes somebody has jostled him and he's getting off the train and he reaches he he grabs for his pocket and the money is gone Right. So he jumps off the train even before the the end uh, station where his grandmother's waiting for him, and he tries to follow this man. Well, some other boys um, see him running down the street, and they they catch up with him, and he he forms friendships with them, and the the little band of boys uh, catch the thief. Um, it was it's like a detective story, which mm -hmm. it is. Uh -huh. So I, that was. That inspired me, and then I wrote this, which is kind of the same, only Jason starts out by making an invention. You see, I'm a patent attorney, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in inventions, and so Jason makes an invention. A crime is, uh, is, is committed in his uh, elementary school, namely a trophy is taken out of the trophy case, um, and Jason and his friends proceed to as detective to find out who did it and that's the story and uh, it ends up with a little chase um, uh, Jason's invention is involved uh, and uh, is it takes is, is intimately involved in the entire story but at the end the invention is a air-powered bicycle and um, the thief chases Jason uh, with the thief's bicycle and Jason wins, and is is saved by the uh, by the fact that his bicycle goes faster than the thief's bicycle. Good news. <laughs> so, so that's that's kind of how that happened. And then I said, you know, it's fun to do this. I wrote a second book. Jason made a second invention. I wrote a third book. Jason made still another invention. Everywhere he went, he made an invention, and the his friends solved a crime. And so I wrote five of those, and they're uh, posted on mildy.com, if you'd like to take a look. And uh, then I said, you know, enough of this already. I'm going to write a novel for adults. There we go. All right, and we should be making a, a TV show with the uh, Jason series, so we'll talk about that later. Okay. Now let's get to the big guy, big girl things, the computer commuter train. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I grew up there on uh, Westchester, and it seems to take place uh, from uh, from New York up to uh, somewhere upstate. And uh, and tell us about the commuter uh, hijacking for justice. Oh boy. Okay, what is it about? Okay, um, I lived in Chappaqua for many years, and now I live further up the line. Um, the train I took uh, to New York was uh, on the Harlem line. That uh, it starts used to start from Brewster and go all the way to New York, and now it starts way up in Wasaic, which is about twice as far as Brewster, but uh, is still a commuter train. And uh, the very wealthy people who live far north get on this train and come down to the city to do their work. Um, and some of them have farms up in Millbrook. I mean, it's a very wealthy community. Uh, and then they would come to the city and work for the week they'd have a par an apartment in the city 
they work during the week and then go back to their farms on Friday night. So um, this story is about one such executive who has done a terrible thing uh, to an inventor again. Uh, in this case, it's a man who invented a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that would solve the commuting problem. It's it's way ahead of its time, and he has developed it, gotten patents on it, and when he ran low on money, this executive, who is the head of an international uh, conglomerate, pays a small amount of money to this man. He can't make the interest payments on that money, just a, a very low million, very few millions of dollars. He can't make the interest payments on it, or rather, he forgets to make a, 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 an interest payment. And this executive, his name is Mike Sneed, pulls the rug out from under this guy and leaves him with nothing, no patents, no no company. His dream is gone, and he he has sued Mike Sneed in the courts, uh, and but Mike Sneed has bribed the jury right. so that. Mike Mike's wins, and and there is nothing further that uh, this uh, inventor can do. The inventor's name is is Carl, like me, only spelled with a C. My name is spelled with a K. His last name is Collingwood, and his son Bruce is together with him, and they both hijack a train, the train from Wasaic to New York, because Mike Sneed takes that train every Monday morning. And so they get control of the train. They have the engineer on the train stop at a station, and and they order all the passengers off except one passenger. That's Mike Sneed. And then the fun begins because why does why does Carl Collingwood and his son why do they do this? They're doing this to deliver. Mike Sneed to Washington, D.C. How can they do that? Well, the train from Wasaic down to Brewster and all the way down to the city is a diesel train. And a diesel train can go anywhere in the United States. If it's an electric train, it has to stay on the electric line. But this train can go anywhere. And so there's a there's some several tricks that are have to be played in order to get this train on the main line from New York down to Washington D.C. But they do it, and by the time they get to Washington, everybody knows that Bruce and his father Carl are heroes, and the villain of the story is Mike Sneed. And then I won't tell you what happens next, but there is a a court case. Uh, there's a lot of testimony, um, and there's a twist at the end. Let me say this, Carl. One, you have me on the edge of my seat <laughs> listening to you. You're, you're like Orson Welles. And <laughs> two, <laughs> the book had me on, <laughs> on the edge of my seat reading it. It's really well done. You're, you're very good at this. Uh, uh, let, let me say also to the audience that Carl really knows the, uh, the airline, the uh, uh, aviation world. He's uh, been involved with it and, uh, and uh, can, I guess, aviation safety and uh, uh, been a think tank guy for uh, aviation world. And So I guess you can, between the law and everything else in your soul, uh, you write a heck of a story. So congratulations, Carl, and he's Thank a good you. citizen of a involved with the Rotary and uh, many other uh, do-good operations, including good news. So, Carl, congratulations. The commuter train, Carl, does have a website. So where can somebody get the book? Amazon.com. Just okay. go to Amazon, put my name in, and it'll come up. And as a matter of fact, the reviews are pretty good. And I've entered uh, the book into a, an award, uh, uh, a contest for an award uh, by Amazon. It's called Create Space. And I've so far, I've, I've been chosen in the quarterfinals. So um, hey. hopefully I'm on my way. All right. And um, by the way, I want, want to mention I'm writing the sequel. Uh, the sequel is called The Aircraft. This is the first book is the commuter train. The sequel is the aircraft. Um, again, about the vertical takeoff and landing um, aircraft, 
which Carl Collingwood had in, first invented, and now he develops further. So that's that's the sequel. You're a good man, Carl. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for sharing you, good news. I appreciate talking to you. Okay, mm -hmm. take care, my friend. Yep, Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.